So we shared a little bit about who we are and what we stand for in a previous video. Now we'd like to share with you a little bit more about how we design our program. And we are so excited about our new improved program coming up in 2024. We've carefully considered what an artist needs to cultivate a lifelong, rich, rewarding and ever evolving practice and use this as our framework to design a flexible and holistic program, acknowledging the unique journey that each artist takes. Our program consists of in-studio foundation classes, workshops, mentoring and professional development and is complemented by our online resources like our membership and on-demand classes and also our extensive library and galleries. The pyramid serves as the foundational structure that underpins our program, guiding the design of our resources and curriculum. It represents the importance of a well-rounded developmental pathway along with other necessary inputs essential for artistic growth. This pyramid is divided into three main sections, each intricately connected and interactive. We envisage it as a roadmap for achieving a fulfilling, autonomous and dynamic arts practice, kind of like a hierarchy of needs for artists. We see the peak of the pyramid as representing the intangible things we aspire to as artists not the actual physical work itself, but things like having autonomy, confidence, critical thinking, risk-taking, and most importantly, a sense of artistic identity. At this point, you are likely to be looking to challenge and shake up your existing practice. And there is a desire to share your work with an audience and maybe even a wish to share what you know as a teacher. We recognize that reaching this point, however, takes time and is challenging without a solid foundation. At the base, we find the physical aspect of a practice. This is where most artists begin their journey. For some, it starts very early, even in childhood. But for others, it might happen much later in life, but it's driven purely by the desire to create and to make. The focus is firmly in the how. Here, there is a strong desire to improve skills to get better. This phase demands time, structured learning and support from teachers who understand the reasons behind what they teach, but also how to start to develop curiosity in their students and help them to overcome fear of failure and self-doubt. As our goal is to help students become artists, we understand that students shouldn't remain in this student-teacher dynamic indefinitely. There comes a pivotal moment when one transitions from a student to an artist. This shift marks the middle part of the pyramid, being the mental aspect of one's practice. This is where art goes beyond just exercises and projects given by a teacher and starts to incorporate personal curiosity, exploration, research and a deeper understanding of the why behind their work. Artists begin to question, challenge and look beyond conventional boundaries, ambitious to develop their own artistic identity. Our aim is to empower our students to reach for the top of the pyramid, the point where artists develop a profound sense of self and confidently navigate their artistic journey, knowing their practice's direction and purpose. Achieving this point takes time and requires all of the elements within the pyramid. We observe that there exists a continuous evolving interplay among these layers. Learning is an ongoing process and when you dare to challenge your own artistic practice, you will often find yourself needing to acquire a whole new set of skills to bring your ideas to life. We firmly believe that a robust foundation, especially in drawing, enhances your ability to communicate visually with greater depth, sophistication and maturity. And lastly, the umbrella that covers the entire pyramid is a supportive community. This is vital for development, but it must be a community that is based in trust, honesty and empathy. In the next video, we'll share how the actual courses and workshops fit into this pyramid.